Hey guys, it's Marlo, and I have a new review for you here. This time it's for the Marvel Select Disney Store exclusive Planet Hulk figure here. Now before we take a closer look at it, let's take a look at the figure and package. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's a pretty huge package. It's a pretty huge figure. Let me give you guys a view of the back of the package. There's the figure all decked out with his accessories. And again, this is a Disney Store exclusive. That's the price there. It's about 30 bucks. So if you can grab this figure, definitely pick him up if you're a fan of the Hulk. And if you are also a fan of the Planet Hulk series, it was a great comic book series. And um, there's also a animated movie out based on the series which is also pretty awesome so definitely check that out um all right so we got a pretty good look at the package so let me open him up and see how cool he really is out of the package and here is the figure out of the package and before i get started with putting on his accessories there is a little bit of assembly required this little piece here that goes on top of his helmet just plugs into place like so it's easier if I had two hands of course but that basically should plug into place it's a little loose right now I'll try to fix that later on when I free up my camera hand but something like that the helmet basically is fixed to the head so that is not removable as well as the straps here which are basically sculpted on this piece is separate but again it is not removable as far as I can tell and right away you can see some of the details on the figure which is really really cool see the armor on the arm and the crazy sculpting of the veins and musculature when I first saw images of this figure and videos I thought he was kinda ugly and well not that he's good looking or anything, but he's not as bad as I thought. I mean, he looks this way in the uh, comic series anyways. So, uh, again, it's cool with me. It's definitely more a uh, rendition of the Gladiator Hulk as seen in the Planet Hulk series. And not the one based on the Thor Ragnarok uh, film. So, uh, what you'll see in Thor Ragnarok is basically... Uh, something inspired by this series so let's take a closer look at the accessories this is his shield really nicely done it looks really battle worn and weathered so pretty cool details throughout that's the other side there with the straps and he comes with also a battle axe here looking really cool has some pretty sharp edges there so kind of funny that they would sell something like this at the Disney store for kids when this definitely seems more oriented towards the adult collector so again you know I wouldn't recommend this for the younger kids out there for sure like this pointy thing here I can do some damage too as well as the spikes they're they're not soft they're actually pretty hard so got to be careful with those so let me throw on his accessories and give you guys a closer look at Planet Hulk with everything on. Alright, so I got his accessories on. I tried to put the battle axe in his right hand because it looks like it's a little more clenched to hold something like that. But it was really loose, so I figured I guess maybe this is the side for the shield. And he seems to hold it pretty well there. And the reason why I did put the axe in the other hand first is because this one was kind of open and it looks kind of weird the way he's holding the axe but he actually can hold the axe and it's a little bit firmer than the way he would hold it in the uh, other hand because the uh, gap was a little too wide and it basically slid up to the top of the axe there so kind of funny um, makes a little sense though I mean this arm is already armored so he wouldn't really need a shield blocking that side and uh, you know his right side is a little less protected so 
I guess the shield would make better sense being on that side. So some of the details there. Let's take a look at his feet. Great paintwork there throughout and a great black wash to bring out some more of the details there on the feet. I love the way they did this. It looks like real leather. Again, this is a separate piece, kind of a rubbery type material. And again, let's take a closer look at that crazy mug of the Hulk. He's looking really serious there, ready for battle. And with his feathers securely attached there. Really cool figure. Backside. And once again, a look at him from the front. This figure stands at about, let's take a look here. Got my ruler, it looks like. Well, if you're not counting the feathers on the helmet, a little over 10 inches tall. But if you're counting the feathers, wow, he's close to 12 inches tall if you count to the top of the feathers there. So, pretty huge figure, pretty tall. I have the Build-A-Figure Hulk that came from the Thor Ragnarok line. So, let me put this next to him to give you guys an idea of... The size difference there, let me move them over, that's a little more fair, there you go, so there's the Build-A-Figure um, Gladiator Hulk from Thor Ragnarok, the Marvel Legends version, and again the Marvel Select Planet Hulk figure there uh, to his left, so pretty cool figure, I'm, I'm really happy with it because again I'm a big fan of the Planet Hulk series and a big Hulk fan overall so I'm really glad to have this figure um, pretty good points of articulation there you can see in the shoulders those, those can go up and down as well you can see the joint there uh, rotation at the bicep which I'm sorry guys it's just really hard to do with the one hand but you can kinda see where the joint is uh, elbows also go up and down, rotation at the wrist there. Head, of course, will turn. Can go up and down just a little bit. Let's see. There is some articulation there at the uh, lower chest area as well as the waist. And there is an articulation point there. Mid thighs. The legs can also open and close, go up and down. Knees and at the feet as well so pretty good points of articulation if you are wondering about all that but if you're like me you just like to sort of pose your figure on the shelf he's gonna look pretty cool and has a really strong presence just like that all right guys anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up share the video and like the video and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel guys keep on collecting take care Bye-bye.